my name is Bruno Isaac Berries of Berry Science Lab. And uh, speaking of Berry Science Lab, in a few minutes we are about to hit half a million subscribers. I would like to thank everybody for helping us to achieve this feat. We could have never done it without you. And anyway, today we are going to be talking about what is a function and what is not a function. Well, obviously, we've already learned what a function is, but now we're going to learn how to identify what's a function and what's not. Okay, so let me start with the do now question. Then you probably won't be able to get right now, but you will be instantly able to get by the end of this lesson. Is this a function? Well, the answer is no, and I'll tell you why later. Because first, we have to understand what a function is. And then, we're going to identify a few common graphs and ask you if there are a function or not. So, first of all, a function is basically something that gives one input, one output. Now, sometimes that might be two or three or however many inputs per output. If two inputs give you the same output, don't worry. This is still a function. But if one input gives you two outputs, that is not a function. So let me show you an example of the top. Here we have the graph of y equals x squared. Now as you can see, uh, oh yeah, I should probably label these. This x right here, let's call it 2, for example, gives me this y, which is 4. This x right here, which is negative 2, also gives me this y, which is 4. Even though these two different inputs give me the same output, this is still a function. That still counts as a function, even if, uh, coincidentally, two inputs happen to have the same output. But if two outputs happen to have the same input, uh, then that's not cool. Let's identify this with a certain common function. So first, let's start with linear functions. So a linear function is structured like this, right? It's basically just a line. That's why we call it linear. So let's just do the simplest linear function y equals x, for example. So, I'm sure you will be able to identify the graph of this. That would be this line. Now, what about x equals y? What do you think that will look like? Well, surprise, surprise, you can just flip this equation around and it turns out it's the exact same line, y equals x. Now, what about, say, y equals 2x? That's going to look like this. But what about x equals 2y? Is that still a function? Yes, but it's not going to look like the same thing. y equals 2x is going to look like this, while x equals 2y is going to look like this. All right. So now, we've done the linears, and anything linear is going to be a function. It just aligns, so there has to be one input, one output, all that stuff. What about quadratics? Well, a quadratic, if you don't know, is basically a graph where the maximum power is two. So, uh, x squared, for example. And there could also be a bunch of variations, like x squared plus x plus 6, for example. But we're not going to be doing all that stuff. Right now, we're just going to be uh, seeing if y equals x squared is a function and x equals y squared is a function. So we saw just a few minutes ago that x equals y squared is obviously a function, even though it is two inputs, one output. However, x equals y squared is not the same. x equals y squared is going to look something like this. And this is not a function because for one input, like here, we're going to get two outputs. One, two. Two outputs 
aren't going to work for us if that's just one input. Because, as we said, one input with two outputs is not constituting a function. So, that's quadratic. Let me throw a, a few unusual functions at you. You might not understand what they mean right now. You'll certainly understand them later. But I'm just going to show you them for the sake of the graph and seeing if you can identify them as a function or not a function. So, here are three graphs that I am about to draw. So uh, this is the first one from the top, this is the second one from the top, this is the third one from the top. Or this is the bottom one, this is the middle, this is the top. So y equals sine x looks like this. Y, uh, x equals sine y looks like this. Y equals arc sine x looks something like this. So, oh wait, no, let's... We draw that. It looks something like this. So, which, well, how many of these three are functions? Let's see if you can identify it. Well, the answer is number one is a function and number three is a function. Because if you draw lines, uh, vertical lines anywhere on them, you'll find out that for any one input, there was only one output. But for well, x equals sine y, that's not the case. The inputs only range from minus one to one. And even for anything in that range, the number of outputs is infinite because this is the a whole uh, function. The function goes on forever and ever and ever like any other function. So that means that it intersects many times, and it's thus not a function. Function and what is not a function. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and we will see you.